Sean Mendes. Height 1.87 m. Weight 83 kg. Net worth is $12 million. Sean Peter Raul Mendes, born August 8, 1998, is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and model. He gained a following in 2013, posting song covers on the video sharing application Vine. The following year, he caught the attention of artist manager Andrew Girdler and Island Records A.N.R. Ziggy Chariton, which led to him signing a deal with the record label. He has since released three studio albums, headlined three world tours, and received several awards. Mendez released his self-titled debut EP, 2014, and his debut studio album Handwritten, 2015 whose single Stitches reached number one in the United Kingdom and the top ten in the United States and Canada. He then released his second studio album Illuminate, 2016, whose singles Treat You Better and There's Nothing Holding Me Back reached the top ten in several countries. His self-titled third studio album, 2018, was supported by the lead single In My Blood. All three albums debuted atop the U.S. Billboard 200, with the first one making Mendez one of five artists ever to debut at number one before the age of 18. And the third one making him the third youngest artist to achieve three number one albums. In 2017, Mendez became the first artist to land three number one singles on the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart. In 2018, he became the first artist to achieve four number one singles on the adult pop songs chart before the age of 20. Mendez has headlined four concert tours, hashtag Sean's first headlines, Sean Mendez World Tour, Illuminate World Tour, and Sean Mendez, The Tour. Among his accolades, Mendez has won 13 Sokin Awards, 10 MTV Europe Music Awards, 8 Juno Awards, 8 iHeartRadio MMBAs, two American Music Awards, and received two Grammy Award nominations. In 2018, Time named Mendez as one of the 100 most influential people in the world on their annual list. Early Life Mendez was born in Toronto, Ontario, the son of Karen, Raymond, a real estate agent, and Manuel Mendez, a businessman, who sells bar and restaurant supplies in Toronto. His father is Portuguese, from the Algarve, while his mother is English. He has a younger sister named Alia. He was raised in a religious family. Mendez was raised in Pickering, Ontario, where he attended Pine Ridge Secondary School. At school, he played ice hockey and soccer, joined his high school glee club, and practiced his stage presence in acting lessons, leading as Prince Charming at one point. He also auditioned for Disney Channel in Toronto. Mendez graduated from high school in June 2016. Career Minus 2013 to 2015, handwritten. Mendez learned to play guitar by watching YouTube tutorial videos at the age of 14 in 2012. Less than a year later he started posting cover videos on YouTube. Mendez started attracting viewers after he posted a cover from Justin Bieber As Long As You Love Me on the social video app Vine in 2013 and got 10,000 likes and as many followers the next day. After that he gained millions of views and followers in a few months, becoming well known for his six-second snippets of renditions of many popular songs. By August 2014, he was the third most followed musician on Vine. Artist manager Andrew Girdler discovered Mendez online in November 2013, bringing him to Island Records in January 2014. In April, he won Ryan Seacrest's Best Cover Song Contest with Say Something by A Great Big World. He officially signed to Island in May 2014. He released his first single Life of the Party on June 26. 2014. He became the youngest to debut in the top 25 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, making it to number 24 for the week ending July 12, 2014. Prior to his signing, 
Mendez toured as a member of the Mag Con tour alongside other young viners with a large following on social media. Mendez was also on a nationwide tour with Austin Mahone as an opening act. He released his debut major label EP in July. The EP debuted and peaked at number 5 on Billboard 200, selling 48,000 copies in its first week. He won a Teen Choice Award in 2014 for Webstar in Music. On September 5, 2014, O oh Cecilia, Breaking My Heart, featuring Mendez was released as the fifth single from the Vamps debut album, Meet the Vamps. On November 6, 2014, Something Big was released as the second single. On April 14, 2015, Mendez released his full-length album Handwritten, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart with 119,000 equivalent album units, selling 106. 000 copies in its first week and was certified platinum. Mendez then became the youngest artist to debut at number one since the release of Justin Bieber's My World 2.0. The third single from the album, Stitches, peaked at number four on the US Billboard Hot 100, becoming his first top ten single in the US. And became his first number one on the adult pop songs and adult contemporary charts. The song later reached number one in the UK. Also in 2015, Mendez opened for Taylor Swift during 1989 world tour dates for North America and recorded Believe for the soundtrack of Disney Channel original movie Descendants. In late 2015, Mendez and Camila Cabello, who was at the time a member of the group Fifth Harmony, released their collaborative single I Know What You Did Last Summer. The song was included on Mendez's handwritten revisited reissue. Mendez was listed among Time's 25 Most Influential Teens of 2014, debuting in the list after being the youngest ever artist to debut in the top 25 of Billboard Hot 100. He was listed in Time's The 30 Most Influential Teens of 2015, making the list after his debut album topped the Billboard 200 and his single Stitches made the top 10 in the US and other countries. Minus 2016 to 2017, Illuminate. On January 21, 2016, Mendez made his acting debut on the CW's The 103rd Season premiere. He later announced his second world tour as a headliner. The Sean Mendez World Tour, which started in March 2016 and sold out 38 shows in North America and Europe within minutes. Mendez released Treat You Better, the lead single from his second studio album, in June 2016. In the US, the single reached the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, became his second single to peak atop both the adult contemporary and adult pop songs chart, and was certified triple platinum. It also went top 10 in the UK. The album, Illuminate, was released on September 23, 2016 and debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200 with 145,000 equivalent album units, including 121. 000 in pure album sales and was certified platinum. It debuted atop the charts in Canada, becoming his second number one album in his home country. Mercy was released as the second single on August 18, 2016, which entered the top 20 in the US and the UK and was certified double platinum. Mendez released the live album Live at Madison Square Garden in December 2016. He appeared as the musical guest on Saturday Night Live December 3, 2016. In April 2017, Mendez embarked on his Illuminate World Tour which sold out arenas around the world such as Los Angeles Staples Center and London's The O2 Arena. He released the single There's Nothing Holding Me Back on April 20, 2017. 
Included on his Illuminate Deluxe Edition 44 the song was Mendez's third single to reach the top 10 in the US and third single to reach number 1 on both the adult contemporary and adult pop songs. Chart In August 2017, he became the first artist under 20 years old to have three number one songs on the Billboard Adult Pop Songs chart. In November 2017, Mendez became the first artist to have three number one songs on the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart before turning 20 years old. An unprecedented feat since the founding of the chart more than 50 years ago. Mendez was listed among times the 30 most influential teens of 2016 and made his first appearance on Forbes's 30 Under 30 2016, Music. He topped Billboard's 21 Under 21 list in 2017, after his two albums topped Billboard 200 and his single There's Nothing Holding Me Back became his fifth top 20 on the Billboard Hot 100. Minus 2018 Sean Mendes. On March 22, 2018, Mendes released the lead single In My Blood from his upcoming third studio album, followed up by the second single Lost in Japan on March 23. In My Blood topped the Billboard Adult Pop Songs chart, making Mendes the first and only artist to have four number one singles in the chart before turning 20 years old. Youth was released on May 3 featuring American singer Khalid. His self-titled studio album was released on May 25, 2018 to positive critical reviews, with particular praise towards his songwriter and artistic growth. It debuted at number one in Canada, making it his third number one album in his home country. It debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200, making Mendez the third youngest artist to collect three number one albums. To promote the album, Mendez will embark on his self-titled world tour in 2019. Besides the tour, he performed at music festivals across Europe, North America, and South America. He performed at a televised concert honoring the 92nd birthday of Queen Elizabeth II on April 21, 2018. He made TV show appearances on The Late Late Show with James Corden in June where he sang one of his latest singles each night for a week. The tracks he performed live were Nervous, Lost in Japan, Perfectly Wrong. And the duet with Julia Michaels Like to Be You. Mendez made an appearance on the late night talk show The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in October and performed Lost in Japan. He together with Fallon and the show's resident band The Roots, performed a special version of Treat You Better for the show's Classroom Instruments series. He has also performed his latest singles on the iHeartRadio MMVAs in Canada on August 27, where he received eight nominations and won four awards. Mendez starred in a documentary directed by YouTube star Casey Neistat. The short film is part of YouTube's Artist Spotlight Story series. Featuring an interview with Mendez and backstage and behind the scene footage of Mendez during one of his tours. The trailer was released on YouTube on September 22 to officially announce the upcoming documentary. The documentary, Sean Mendez, Artist Spotlight Stories, was published on September 28. Ahead of the official release day, Mendez and Neistat held a previewing show of the film where selected fans of Mendez were invited for the event. The remixed version of Lost in Japan, by Russian-German DJ Z, was released on September 27. Mendez performed the remix version of the single during the 2018 American Music Award held in Los Angeles on October 9. He was joined on stage by Z. Mendez was listed on Billboard 21 Under 21 2018, topping the list for the second year in a row for his chart performance, having three consecutive number one albums. Mendez and Zach Brown Band were featured in an episode of the American TV program CMT Crossroads, a show that pairs a country musician with a musician from another genre.
The episode was aired on October 24 and was taped a month before the scheduled airing date. Mendez and Zach Brown Band performed nine songs, where they sang parts of each other's songs and covered Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. Parts of the dialogue between Mendez and Zach Brown Band, talking about music and experiences throughout their career, were shown in between the song performances. On November 1st, Mendez was announced as one of the musical performers for the 2018 Victoria Secret Fashion Show which was recorded in New York City in November, and aired in December. He released a three-song remix EP on December 21st entitled The Album, Remixes. The EP includes remixes of songs from his self-titled album such as Where Were You in the Morning, with Katronida, Why with Leon Bridges, and Youth with Jesse Reyes. Dash 2019 present, upcoming fourth studio album. On May 3, 2019, he released the single If I Can't Have You along with its music video. The single debuted at number two on the US Billboard Hot 100, becoming his highest charting single on the chart. It debuted in the top 10 in Australia and the UK, becoming his fifth top 10 single in both countries. On June 21, 2019, Mendez released Senorita with Cuban-American singer-songwriter Camila Cabello, along with the music video. Artistry and Musical Influences Mendez has mainly been described as a pop and folk pop singer. Mendez has cited John Mayer, Ed Sheeran, and Justin Timberlake as his main musical influences. Growing up, Mendez listened to reggae music, Led Zeppelin, Garth Brooks, and country music thanks to his parents. He expressed that his second studio album was influenced by Mayer's work while his third album was inspired by Timberlake, Kings of Leon, Kanye West, and Daniel Caesar. For Britney Spanos of Rolling Stone, Mendez incorporates catchy acoustic folk pop tunes in his catalog, while for Joe Cascarelli of the New York Times, his soft. Sometimes soulful pop rock plays primarily to tweens and teenagers, but has also found traction on adult contemporary radio stations. In an interview with Clash magazine, Mendez stated, I want to create anthems for people. I want to create anthems for big moments in their lives, I don't want my music to play for a few months and then go away forever. And not only that, I want to do incredible things that make a difference too. I think it's not only about the music you release, it's about the things you do while you're making the music. Brand Endorsement and Modeling Mendez signed with Wilhelmina Models in 2016. In June 2017, Mendez walked the runway during the Emporio Armani Spring 2018 show held in Milan, Italy. Mendez was wearing the Italian brand's new smartwatch, EA Connected, during the show. Ahead of his runway walk, the promotional video featuring Mendez was shown. On June 6, 2018, Mendez was announced as the ambassador for Emporio Armani's entire fall-winter 2018-2019 watch collection. In July 2018, Photographs of Mendez wearing the new EA Connected smartwatches were published on social media. On February 16, 2019, Mendez announced that he was the latest brand ambassador for Calvin Klein's hashtag MyCalvin's campaign. During the 61st Annual Grammy Awards, Smile Direct Club released an advertisement showcasing a campaign between the company and Mendez with some of the proceeds going to Organizations that seek to improve children's health as well as mental and emotional well-being. Later that month, Emporio Armani released a new black and white advertisement for its touchscreen smartwatches featuring an instrumental version of In My Blood with Mendez Boxing. Philanthropy and Supported Causes In 2014, Mendez and Do Something.org launched their campaign called Notes from Sean where fans were encouraged to write positive notes and leave them in unexpected places. The campaign was inspired by the lyrics to his first single, Life of the Party, 
and addressed low self-esteem, depression, and awareness of self-harm. They relaunched their campaign for the second year in a row in 2015, where the campaign was hashtagged online as Notes from Sean. He partnered with BlendApp with the goal of raising up to $25,000, where $1 was raised for every sign-up and positive message shared on the application. The campaign was relaunched for a third year in a row in 2016. He has also worked with Pencils of Promise, a non-profit organization that builds schools and helps raise the quality of education for developing countries, raising $25,000 to build a school in Ghana. In September 2017, after witnessing the devastation of the earthquake in Mexico City, Mendez created the Mexico Earthquake Relief Fund in conjunction with the American Red Cross and donated $100.000 towards relief efforts. In 2018, Mendez worked with Omez to raise funds through donations to support the We Schools program, a movement aiming to support youth through educational services and mentorship. Mendez encouraged his fans to help the cause while giving the donors a chance to attend his upcoming concert tour. In September 2018, Mendez took part in the annual Global Citizen Festival held at Central Park, New York City. He performed, alongside other artists such as Janelle Monet, John Legend, and Janet Jackson and raised awareness regarding the importance of education and children's lack of access to education around the world, particularly young women. Ahead of the event, he took to social media to reach out to Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, thanking the Prime Minister for leading the initiative for Leave No Girl Behind. A movement whose goal is to empower girls through workshops and programs, and expressing his willingness to talk more about the project. He also encouraged his fans to support the movement. In response, the Prime Minister thanked Mendez and stated that, the more people we have fighting for girls' education, the better. Let's talk. In October 2018, Mendez, together with producer Teddy Geiger, released a cover of Under Pressure by the British rock band Queen and David Bowie. The single was part of a series of covers of Queen's songs, released in celebration of Queen's biopic Bohemian Rhapsody. The proceeds from the single were donated to the Mercury Phoenix Trust, an organization founded by Queen Band members after Freddie Mercury's death, which helps fight against HIV-AIDS. Queen's manager, Jim Beach, expressed his gratitude to Mendez and Universal Music Group for helping the cause. On October 20, Mendez performed along with other artists such as Khalid, NF, Marshmello, Megan Trainer, and Ella Mai at the Hollywood Bowl, Los Angeles for the We Can Survive event. The event was organized to raise funds for Young Survival Coalition, in an effort to support young women who were diagnosed with breast cancer. Personal Life Mendez has been open about his struggles with anxiety disorder, which he disclosed publicly through In My Blood, a track from his third studio album. He declared that he had been undergoing therapy in order to help him deal with the mental health condition, stating, I spoke to a therapist a couple of times, therapy is what works for you. Therapy is listening to music and running on the treadmill, therapy is going to dinner with your friends it's something that distracts you. That helps you heal and so it just depends on what you think therapy is. I made a conscious effort to be more connected to the people in my life. I found I was closing myself off from everybody, thinking that would help me battle it then realizing the only way I was going to battle it was completely opening up and letting people in. With regard to speculation about his sexuality, Mendez stated, first of all, I'm not gay. Second of all, it shouldn't make a difference if I was or if I wasn't. The focus should be on the music and not my sexuality. Awards and Nominations Main article, List of awards and nominations received by Sean Mendes Mendes has received several nominations and awards. He won 13 Society of Composers, Authors and Music Publishers of Canada, Sakin, Awards, 10 MTV Europe Music Awards, 
EMA, 8i Heart Radio Much Music Video Awards, MMBA, 8 Juno Awards. 3 BMI Awards, 2 American Music Awards, and the Alan Slate Honor from Canada's Walk of Fame. He was nominated for two Grammy Awards. Thank for watching and subscribing. See you next videos.